Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Benfica Career Mode. As you can see from the screen, I'm going to be playing against Guimarães. Uh, but let's go and see what the office has to say. Oh, some players leaving in international duty. Um, actually, they never actually clash with any of my matches, so it's not really a big problem. But look at that. It's actually quite a, a big list there. Uh, nine players. Did I see Luizel there? For Brazil? Wow, it's been a while since that's happened. And unfortunately, Jetro Willems is uh, out for two months with a broken elbow. That is really unfortunate. Uh, he's a great player, was developing nicely. Uh, but we're going to have to cope with it. There's nothing else we can do. Um, but yeah, let's uh, proceed to the match. Uh, there's nothing else to do here apart from uh, uh, get rid of Veltman. Or Willems, sorry. And we're going to put... Elizil in his place. Elizil's not a bad player. Yeah, they're round about the same level at the moment. Uh, so we're going to put another left back in his position. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Standard squad there. Class is a bit tired. I'm going to go ahead with this lineup to start off with. Um, would you like to save? Yes, I would. Um, but we're going to go with that team for the next match and hopefully. Uh, we'll get the three points. Gimenez, not the easiest team in the world, uh, especially playing at home. Uh, they'll be playing quite a defensive uh, formation, and they'll be parking the bus somewhat, especially against a team like Benfica. That's what we're expecting. Uh, let's try this again. I've been trying it with, uh, with uh, Nottingham Forest career mode. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. There we go. And I managed to hit every single... Miss, sorry, every single box. Let's try again. Are oh, you... Why is this so random? Get it! Oh, beautiful. Nice one, Gaitan. I'm guessing the point is to get it through the... The holes there on the, on the walls. Nice. Beautiful shot. Boom! Boom! Straight into the wall. Boom! Ah, oh, I give up. So here we are. It doesn't look anything like their stadium, but we know that because they don't have any of the Portuguese uh, stadiums in FIFA. Uh, and the annoying thing is, is that on the old gen, that's uh, PS2, and the old gen PC versions, they had the Dragão, uh, they had Stadio de Luz, and they had uh, Stadio de Alvalade. Um, but they decided not to use those assets and take them to next gen. I know it's a lot of work having to redesign it all. But they could have just updated the textures or something and made it look uh, a little bit better. It would have fit, fit in uh, to the next gen uh, engine pretty well, I think. But you can't get everything you want. Oh, a Brazilian referee in the Portuguese league. That is just perfect. Authenticity. Anyway, let's kick off. I'm expecting a game with a lot of possession for Benfica. In fact, I'm going to go straight to attacking. Uh, I'm going to do some wing play. Because I think they're going to... Uh, they're going to put most of their players in the midfield. They're going to flood the midfield, as you can see there. Uh, a lot of players. I think they're playing with two CDMs. But we just have to be patient. Teams like this end up having awesome uh, defence. In general, let's cross in. Ah, oh, and Jonas couldn't get to it. Now it's Tumane with the counter attack for Gimenez. Clear that ball. Oh, nice clearance there. Still is going out. I don't feel like I've got the pace. And uh, Salvio making a, a nice run down the right hand side. He just needs to trick it in. He's going to take the shot. Oh, blocked right at the last minute. It's unfortunate there. I've got to remember that they're going to uh, pressure with their defenders as soon as I've got the ball. So it's quite a frustrating uh, formation that they're playing. Nice through ball there to Classy. Oh, no, it's Gaitan. He couldn't get a good foot to it. It's straight at the goalkeeper. And towards the 37-minute mark, still no clear shots on goal. It's going to be another through ball. 
Salvio is going to pick it up here on the right hand side. Jonas is there waiting. Oh, couldn't get his head to it. And now it's Gaitan. Just take the shot. Oh, fantastic goal from Gaitan. I wasn't expecting that. I just took a potluck shot. Uh, but Gaitan had the accuracy. It managed to miss most of their players. And it's gone straight into the back of the net. I want to see that replay. Just nice pass there straight to Gaitan. Left footed shot actually uh, to the far post. I thought that would have come off one of the players and gone out, but no, it's gone straight into the back of the net. Uh, great goal there. He was slightly off balance, but it was a good goal nonetheless, and a fantastic flip there from Gaitan. And we're on our way to getting the three points. So, good start there from Benfica. Classy now, we're putting a lot of men forward. Salvio making a run down the right-hand side. This could be a gateway in, a through ball there. Oh, he's well offside. Yep. Yeah. He's well offside. What a waste. But interestingly, Jonas wasn't there. It was Nico Gaitan again. Where was Jonas? I mean, I can see Taliska. I can see Gaitan, but no Jonas. There he is now. A bit too late, though. So, I'm not finding these guys too difficult. They're defending well. That's the only frustrating uh, thing about this team. But we go into half time, we're winning, we got those uh, we got that goal to potentially give us some three points. It's been a an average match, it's it's been a bit quiet. I think I've only had a, a few efforts on goal, there's a few near misses. Uh, but yeah, not an outstanding uh, game from Benfica. But we're doing enough to get the three points and that's what matters. Um, I think I'm gonna put Gignac in for the second half. Or uh, actually, my my midfield triangle, inverted triangle, is a bit tired, so I might replace uh, Classy. Uh, who am I going to put in his place? Might put Talvin and Gignac for Jonas. Let's go ahead with that team. So in comes the beast. He's got an absolute massive physique there. Here comes Samaris, nice through ball there to uh, Gaitan and almost scores his second goal, but I think it was offside. I want to see that replay, it must have been close. Must have been a close decision. If I look to the bottom, oh, it's, it's a tight one. It's a really tight one, but I think in the end it was a good decision. Guys, let me know how you'd feel if I was to get rid of uh, Luizel. Who, who are the players that you wouldn't like me to get rid of, basically? Who would you frown upon if I got rid of them? So, here's Andre now attacking down the midfield. Also, who, who do you think I should buy? Um, do you have any good tips for next season? Who would fit well into the Benfica squad? Who would complement our players? That was a close one. Obviously, it is unknown whether chemistry has any effect on anything that's not foot-related. Good save there from Julio Cesar. So, do we go full Brazilian? Do we go for... Is there a specific nationality that I should source my players? 68 minutes now. Let's try and attack down the wing again. Wow! Wow, that, that guy took the ball from us pretty easily easier than I was hoping uh, that anyone could be able to tackle one of our players or intercept there's Bernard now it's getting dangerous to Mane with a shot and he scores my worst nightmares come true I can't believe that was from about 20 yards out I'll need to check the, the replay again but what what a punch in the face what a slap in the face that was just came out of nowhere Tomane scoring a fantastic goal. I've got to give it to them. Uh, it was a good goal, but it just shows that, you know, these these teams don't give up and they'll take a shot or take a chance when they when they have to. And sometimes it works out for them. Beautiful right-footed shot. To be fair, Julio says I should have uh, reacted a lot quicker. Um, but he just couldn't stretch to tap that ball. And it's Guimarães 1, Benfica 1. Talvin has the ball. And it's Gignac waiting for it there. And it's a dangerous free kick now for Benfica. 
I think this is prime position for Talishka. Talishka, hopefully he'll score this. Shot just over the bar there. Oh no, he didn't get enough height. Right, this is time for us to go ultra attacking. Oh, come on, cross it in. It deflected. Take the shot, Samaris. Take the shot. Oh, how lucky were they? This is getting desperate now. Samaris now, he passes it to Zinyak. Samaris again takes the shot. And a nice save there by Douglas. Just pushes it away over the bar. It's only now literally on the 90th minute that we're managing to cause any sort of issues or problems to their defence. It is with a shot, but Douglas picks it up. Samaris, Zinyak. Zinyak making a... Oh! I don't know who that was, but Tal... Oh, Talvin just couldn't keep the ball down and it's a waste he could have controlled it well let's say it's my fault really I should have controlled it but I think that's it I think the referee is going to blow the whistle now look at this time wasting obviously they've implemented time wasting into this match into this match into this game and that's it a draw a disappointing draw there obviously it's playing under conditions that I I'm not particularly good at. I don't like playing in the rain. It slows my team down. But that's a disappointing uh, draw. It's almost a loss for me. A draw in the Premier League is a loss, really. Let's go and see those stats. We had more possession, more shots. Uh, six shots and five on target. Look at that. One shot, one on target. That was their only goal. And they played quite dirty. Overall, I think we had better shot accuracy and pass accuracy if you combine the two but that's bitterly disappointing uh, Porto, yeah they won 3-0 Sporting lost though which is good for us that means that we're still in second place and uh, only three points behind Porto they've got the better goal difference but it doesn't meet, mean that we can't beat them uh, I'm confident that we can beat them but that was very disappointing uh, so let's go and see who our next opponent's going to be. International management of uh, no, no, thank you. Not really a fan of Northern Ireland, or really have any knowledge of them. And it's Pnafiel, and let's go straight to the team management. So let's have a quick look at our team. Uh, Jonas, uh, Salvio is doing well in his position. I'm enjoying Samaras, Taliska. We did pretty well with Talvin. I'm going to give him a, an opportunity there. I know he's a right midfielder, but he's playing really well in uh, the CM position. And I'm going to put Zinyak in because it's his turn to start off. As you know, I rotate between Zinyak and Jonas. And we're ready to go into the match now. Uh, let's hope that this time we can get a clear win and um, get our goal difference uh, or increase our goal difference. That was a poor effort there. Oh, I just keep getting it wide. I'm not really sure. Oh, there we go. It's the finesse. It's the finesse. <laughs> Beautiful shot there. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, but yeah, I'm not going to bother anymore. And as you can see there, uh, we are playing at home, however it's raining, uh, but that's no excuse uh, for having any sort of bad performance against Pinafiel. Um, I look at their away kit, it's red. <laughs> I was hoping that I'd get a choice from another colour, uh, but they didn't have a third kit, unfortunately, like most of the teams in the Primera Liga, they don't have a third kit, so you can have situations. Uh, where both teams are red, uh, wearing similar colours. Actually, looking at them now, they're not uh, they're not clashing too much. Let's start off well. It's Jinyak here with a run. He could take the shot. Oh, deflected there or uh, covered there by Valente. Um, good start there from Benfica. Nice turn there from Jinyak. It was going to be a good left-footed shot. It was cleared nicely there by the Pnafiel uh, defender. 
we can't clear that ball. I'm fed up of clearing balls straight to their players. Have an effort. But Julius says a Picks up that ball easily. I'm going to start attacking down the wing. Nico Gaiten has massive, massive amount of pace. Uh, but we've got a set piece now. We've got corner. This is our chance uh, to score a goal. We go Taliska this time. Gignac there waiting. And it's a goal. <laughs> I don't know if that was an own goal or if that was Gignac just nicking the ball there. Um, he doesn't really have that much height. He's managed to somehow get around that play on the goalkeeper and uh, put the ball into the back of the net. It looked like a, an own goal, but it was Salvio. It was Salvio, I didn't notice that. I actually thought it was Giniac, but fair play, we've scored early. But I'm not going to celebrate too early because we know what can happen from the game against Guimarães. So um, let's just see how we go. Uh, I don't want to embarrass myself again. André Font. Rui Miguel. Uh, cover him. Ah, uh, dangerous. Oh, no. Would you believe it? And there you go. That's why I didn't blow my own trumpet. Oh, man. Louis Zone gave away a, f a penalty there. Let's see the replay. Let's see that replay. Was it Salvio? I don't really know. I think it was Salvio that gave that away. Didn't look too bad, but... Yeah, I think we're going to concede the, the equaliser. Disappointing if we do, but... If Julio Cesar can do something. He's going to go for a corner. Yes, and Julio Cesar saves that. What a, uh, a three-point saving save uh, there from Julio Cesar. He's kept our dreams alive. Look at that. I could tell he was going for a corner. If you guys want a tip, um, turn on the bars on top of the player's head. You can see the opposition. I could see that uh, by the level of power that he put in his bar that he was going to aim for one of the corners. And I just happened to pick the right one. That was really lucky. Now there you go. That's the end of the first half. We're lucky to be winning 1-0. Uh, but at the moment we're on course to getting the three points. Um... Let's go and see the stats. I actually think they've got uh, more possession. Yeah, a lot more possession. Why is it when I play at home that the teams always end up having more possession? They've had two shots, two on target. Uh, they've had one and one on target. I can't remember which one it was. But they got the penalty and they missed it, which was absolutely, which was really lucky. Maxi Pereira. I haven't seen that much from him. He has made a few runs. Occasionally, I'd like to see a bit more from him. Look at that. Do you know what I mean? The AI, when they when they want to win, they're almost guaranteed to gain the possession. Here we go again. Oh, ball loose. Oh, no. See, I can tell. I can tell that they're, this game is going to force a, a goal. It's just obvious. don't know what to do here. It's getting dangerous. Not letting go of possession. Look at that. Player like Luis L losing the ball there. That is not normal. That is not normal. Let's put uh, Jonas in. Jonas. And I'm going to put Lisandro Lopez for Samaras. So I've got a feeling we're going to be defending a lot towards the end of this match. Let's go direct. Why not? Why not? Let's go direct. Yeah, wasn't going to happen. <laughs> but I thought I'd give it a go. It's a weird angle. Gedge. Veltman now takes that ball nicely. Salvio's pretty much by himself. A little through ball there to Gaitan. He's got it. Take the shot. It's a penalty. And this time, uh, Benfica gets the penalty. It's a roll reversal now. But let's see if we can actually put it away. I'm going to use Gaitan. Let's take the penalty. It was going to be a goal anyway. Look at that. Taking him down badly there. But let's get Gaitan. Let's use Gaitan to take this free kick. Uh, penalty, sorry. <sighs> Waiting for this to... So, let's put Gaitan in there. Left-footed. 
Just hope we can score the goal. Be a bit embarrassing if we don't. There we go. Top right. Let's see if we get it in. Yeah, beautiful goal. Gaitan puts us two up. And I can safely say uh, that we're going to get the three points. Great penalty, though. Uh, Kuwait did dive in the right direction, but it was too much power. And it went kind of in between the post and the, the middle of the goal. It's a difficult one to predict, but fantastic goal there. Great power, great direction. Got the possession again. Lizzo, we're playing a lot better in the second half. Lisandro. Nico Gaitan. Jonas. Salvio again. We're opening up gaps like there's no tomorrow. They're desperate to attack, I think. So they're making dangerous moves. And Salvio took the shot again. But he's just wide. He really wants to score today. I've got that feeling. Can't remember if Luizo or whoever it was. Was it Salvio? I don't know who, who calls that other penalty. But a little through ball there to Jonas. Let's get another goal right before the end. Let's get it. Oh! The goalkeeper managed to get back and prevent that goal from uh, happening. That was too close there. Jonas did make a nice run. He just needed to tap it, give it a little bit more power. But yeah, twice we could have scored there. Are they going to get a goal right at the last minute? Nice effort. Uh, but that's the end of the match. We got the three points. Uh, what matters now is how uh, Porto has got on. I don't think they've actually played today. Uh, but let's go and look at the stats. Penefiel still with the majority of the possession. It did feel that we played a hell of a lot better than them. Uh, they did get five shots, three on target. But they weren't dangerous. Ours were pretty much all dangerous. And we could have scored more. Um, let's see who got man of the match. Uh, Julio Cesar. Interestingly, I don't agree with that. I do not agree with that. Because I don't think uh, they were as dangerous as we were. But, you know... Fair enough, what can I do? Uh, it's not like we win a prize for getting man of the match. Um, but let's go and see how we're doing. There we are, we're in equal points. So it looks like... Uh, uh, why is... Who else has got 12 matches? So Porto's going to play Gimenez. Uh Let's see if we can actually push it to that day and see uh, if they win or lose. Let's stop it now. And they won. They beat Gimenez. <laughs> Unfortunately, let's see what the international management offer again. Uh, who? What? Oh, come on. Seriously? Look, I'm not going to refuse that. I'm not going to refuse it. But how can they How can they give us an offer, a job offer for Portugal? Literally only a few months after I started the career. I'm not doing that well. Um, but yeah, I guess now we're going to have a, a Portugal career mode as well. I'll, I'll probably just add it to the Benfica uh, career mode. But yeah, that's really weird. But who am I to complain? Let's go and see the table. And there we go. We're in second place. Uh, three points behind. Uh, we've closed the gap, the goal gap, slightly. Uh, Sporting still have a better uh, goal ratio than us. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's it for this episode. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for the comments. Uh, please keep subscribing. Please keep watching. Um, and yeah, thank you very much. See you next time.